This is problem number 10 for section 2.2. In this problem it says, because of their connection with secant lines, tangents, and instantaneous rates, limits of the form limit h as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h occur frequently in calculus. Evaluate this limit for the given value of x and function f. So they give us the root function, right? f of x equals root x. And they want us to evaluate this for x equals 7. So what they're asking us for is the slope. This equation finds the slope. So we're going to say limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And we're going to take this x plus h, we're going to plug it into the root function. So we end up with limit as h approaches 0 we get root x plus h minus the function itself, which is just root x, and that's all over h. Now again, I can't plug in this zero straight away in here because I get division of zero. So what I have to do is I have to essentially cancel out this h somehow. Well, I can't do it right now because of the roots. But anytime I see a root, with a subtraction sign of, a, of some other number, in this, in this case it's a root, I'm thinking conjugate. Multiply by its conjugate, so it's root x plus h plus root x over root x plus h plus root x. And remember, root, this, this numerator and denominator are the same, so I'm technically just multiplying by one. I'm not changing this expression at all. I get the limit as h approaches 0. And when I multiply this root times this, I got to distribute this one to each term and this one to each term. When I take this times this term, I get x plus h. When I take this times root x, that's going to give me plus root x times root x plus h. And then when I multiply negative root x times this, I get negative root x times root x plus h. And then I take negative root x times root x and I get negative, well the roots cancel, I'm left with just x. And that's all over, now I don't want to distribute this h to each of these terms because I'm trying to cancel it. So I'm going to leave it outside with root x plus h and then plus root x on the inside. That's going to give you limit as h approaches 0. And you can start canceling some stuff. This cancels with this. The negative h, x cancels with the x. And we're left with h over h root x plus h plus root x. Well, you can clearly see that the h's cancel. And so we end up with the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 over root x plus h plus root x. When I plug in the 0 now to check to see if this works, I end up with 1 over root x plus 0 plus root x. Well, this just gives root x, so it's 1 over root x plus root x, which is equal to 1 over 2 root x. So now they want us to plug in x equals 7 into this function. So when I plug in x equals 7 into the function, I'm going to end up with, so x equals 7, I end up with m, our slope, being equal to 1 over... 2 root 7. So the slope is 1 over 2 root 7. Now they might have you rationalize this denominator, so I might as well go through that real quick. How would I rationalize this? I'm going to multiply by root 7 over root 7. And when I do that, I end up with m equals on the bottom root 7 times root 7 is 7, so I end up with 7 times 2, which is 14, and on top I get root 7. 
So these are the two ways you could write it. This would be with a denominator that's not been rationalized, and this, with it, this is with a rationalized denominator.